Hi guys, I finished my gang gang cockatoo painting yesterday so today I'm going to show you all the things I did to finish it. This is where I finished in the last video so now I'm just painting some water on this large feather down the bottom and this is my grey mix that I told you about in the last video. Remember I mixed ultramarine blue with burnt sienna to make the grey. Now this is Windsor Violet that I'm dropping in. So I dried that feather off with my hair dryer and I drew some lines on to form the feather separations. And now I'm just painting that watery mix of grey up between them. So just painting that watery paint up just to form the separations in the feather. dropping in some of the Windsor Violet just onto the wet paper again just to add interest it's time to start washing in some of these other feathers dropping in some water now to create a bloom so I just keep painting over the feathers getting some color onto the paper and because I'm painting all these feathers individually, I didn't need to mix a great quantity of grey all together. Instead, I just sort of mix it as I go. And that tends to result in me getting different shades of grey all over the bird. And I quite like that because I think it makes it look more interesting to look at. So here it is. I've washed all the feathers in. They've all had at least one layer. Some have had more than one. And you can see that all those different coloured greys that I've got in there. Some are blue and some are a bit more grey. And I just think that makes the bird look a little bit more interesting. So now what I've got to do is just remove my pencil lines, make sure there's none left showing. Now I'm going to use my Casaneo Oval Pointed Wash Brush. And what I want to do is just paint some clean water just gently over the top of the whole grey area that I've painted. And that just helps to lift some of the pigment and helps to soften and merge the feathers and make them look like they're all part of the bird instead of them being painted individually. So I just do this gently just with fresh water just all over the grey. Okay, so that's what it looks like after I've dried it with the hairdryer. Now what I want to do is paint a shadow along here. So I'll just wet the area where I want the shadow to go with water. And then I pick up some of the paints grey. And I just paint that on underneath the feather above. That just creates a shadow on the feather below. And the water just disperses the pigment. I've gone all the way along there. Same thing up here, I'm just painting a little shadow along where one feather touches the other. And then same again here, some water and then the paint's grey. Just pulling it along underneath that feather above. Now these ones over here on the back of the neck, I just want to deepen the colour slightly. So I'm just painting a wash of Payne's Grey over the top of them. Just glazing it over the top. Just painting on dry paper. But the paint's watery. Now 
what I want to do is paint another shadow. What I want to do is separate this group of feathers here from this section of feathers below. So I'm just going to paint a shadow line along where they sit and touch one another. So this is just the paint's grey again. The paper's wet underneath where I'm painting. Just keeps the paint soft. Dropping in a little bit of the Windsor Violet now too, again, just to, to add interest to the grey. I can paint some feather separations too on some of the feathers above. just coming in and I'm deepening some of the areas of colour. Again, paints grey on dry paper here. And I can paint some really little dark little sections just here and there where there might be little holes where the feathers are. So this is paints grey again. I'm just painting on dry paper, just using watery paint. Going a little bit darker in colour now, just over the top of the area that I've just done. I have wet this with water underneath where I'm painting. A few more feather separations here and there. So this is just watery paint on dry paper. I want to deepen the shadow under this feather here so I'm going to use my Da Vinci Cosmotop Spin. This is a nice liner brush that I like to use and then I can get right into the little nooks and crannies with it. So the paper's wet underneath the feather. You can see the way it just sort of bleeds across the surface of the paper. The feather above is dry. Just getting into the little fine areas now with this brush. Just deepening the colour. Just getting right up underneath the feathers where it's darker. Switching to the red section, I'm just wetting a little area here and I'm just deepening the red. I'll list this colour in the description of the video. Doing the same thing up here, I've wet underneath that feather and I'm just painting the separations between with the deeper red. Same again here. can just push it across a bit further with the wet brush. Now I want to paint a bit of a shadow down the side here and I'm just wetting this area with water and now this is Windsor Violet and again I'm just trying to add interest to the grey. put some down in here as well. So it's just watery Windsor Violet. A little bit over here. Now I've got some Windsor and Newton white ink. And what I've done is I've painted just a few little feather, fine feather strokes, just here and there. There's one there, one there, 
couple in there. Now, I don't want to overdo this because it can look a bit strange if I do too much. So I'm just going to add a few little strokes just off the wing area here. So I'm not going to do too much, just a couple more strokes. And that's enough. So time to reveal the painting. Off comes the tape. This is the exciting part. And ta-da! There's my finished painting. Some people ask me, how do I know when I've finished a painting? And I guess for me, I just get to a point where I'm happy with what I've done and I'm fearful that if I do anything else, I might wreck it. So then I know it's time to put my paintbrushes down. Sometimes I'll take a photo of the painting and I'll put the photo on my computer screen and then I can see it with fresh eyes. And then any mistakes that I might have made are quite glaringly obvious. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be adding some more mini tutorials as often as I can, so keep watching. Hi guys, it's Louise de Massey. Today I wanted to show you how I'm progressing with my latest watercolour painting. I'm in the middle of painting a male gang gang cockatoo and you may have seen my previous video where I showed you how I painted the red... Hi guys, it's Louise de Massey. Today I want to show you how I'm progressing with my latest watercolour painting. I'm in the middle of painting a male gang gang cockatoo and you may... I'm sniffing now. Hi guys, it's Louise de Massey. Today I wanted to show you the progress I've been making. Mating, the progress I've been making. Hi guys, it's Louise de Massey.